Fox Sports likes to take advantage of the gigantic audience that it gets for the Super Bowl. Not just spend that talking about sports, but use that platform to actually promote the things that matter to us. And for us, that's really our country and, and America. This isn't actual advertising. This is coming from the president of Fox Sports, who's completely patriotic and wants to give back in his own way, which then gets us all passionate about it because this is somebody who could be getting millions of dollars in advertising and instead would rather spend the money to pull off a shoot of this size and give such a positive, uplifting message to Americans. Jen Pransky had approached me with the project and we discussed it and thought, hey, it would be an amazing idea to try to tell this story of three different wars in one sequential shot to pay tribute to soldiers. It's delicate subject matter because it's the history of our country. It's saying that our flag is what represents us through everything that we've been through from good to bad, you know, we didn't win every war. But it's those things that have made us who we are and it's that fight and that spirit in us that makes us Americans and proud to be Americans. I think the ragged old flag is a perfect representation of maybe uh, where we're at right now, where I feel like we're at right now. You know, our country now more than any time that I've been alive feels more divided. It's frustrated as a warfighter to, to come home to the country that you're essentially fighting for and to find our people so separated and segregated and, you know, it's supposed to be the United States and sometimes it doesn't feel that way. My name is Kirstianis. I served six years in the United States Marine Corps as a helicopter door gunner and airframes mechanic. On my last deployment to Afghanistan, my helicopter crashed and as a result of that I've had 44 surgeries um, to include the, the loss of my left leg above the knee. But when I was told about this project, it hit really close to home because obviously serving in the military, one of the things that you're doing is protecting your country and you're representing that flag. You're representing that national anthem and everything that it stood for hundreds of years ago and we're carrying that forward now. My name's Tom Ross. I am the circuit court judge and have been now. It's been my privilege for the last 13, more than 13 years at this point. President Kennedy was right in front of the building uh, for a tour that he was doing. Uh, we had Princess Anne was here in the, I believe, the 1970s. With respect to the birth of the United States, Maryland and Queen Anne's County were very historic. Uh, there are families here in Queen Anne's County that uh, trace their roots all the way back to the 17th century, so the 1600s. One of the more special places that we got to shoot was at the National Museum of American History because that's where the Star Spangled Banner is housed. It's the actual flag that Francis Scott Key was looking at uh, at Fort McHenry when he wrote the poem that is now our national anthem. And to be able to have um, the end of, of our little production, Ragged Old Flag, be shot there was, was tremendous. I'm Elaine. Bond Hyman, and I went on the March on Selma. I've been um, to the March on Washington in 1963, and the um, Million Man March. I'm holding it down for a generation that lived through and survived many periods of upheaval uh, in our country's history. I want to give honor to those people by my silent witness. We're in an interesting position right now, and um, it meant a lot to me to to be involved with this because in my mind and after it was I guess pitched to me if you will um, it was my way of being able to inspire patriotism again. There's also a lot of people in our country that want to see this thing come back together. This project more than anything uh, sort of signifies that for me and that's why I was proud to be a part of it just because of I think you know, what it's representing and, and how, it's, how it's kind of accurately representing where we're at and, and maybe some of the directions we should be heading.